always a word from the Lord. Uh, from two passages of scripture on this day, from the book of Mark, the 10th chapter, verses uh, 51 through 52. St. Mark, the 10th chapter. Verses 51 through 52. We have it say. Beginning at verse 51, it reads as follows. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? Yes. The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered unto him, Go thy way. Yes. Thy faith. You might want to underline those two words. Go thy way. Thy faith have made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight mm -hmm. and followed Jesus in the way. Let's back up to the book of St. Matthew. St. Matthew, the ninth chapter. Verses 21 through, verses 27 through 31. We have it, say amen. amen. Matthew, the ninth chapter, beginning at verse 27. It reads as follows. And when Jesus departed hence, you all read like that? Yes. And when Jesus departed hence, Two blind men follow him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was to come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? Yes. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were open. And Jesus strictly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Verse 29. Then Jesus touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. We want to preach from a subject this morning according to your faith. Yeah. According to your faith. Tell somebody, hold on to your faith. Tell them faith is all I got now. Amen. You can lose everything, but you just hold on to your faith. Uh, everything will be all right. Yes, according to your faith. If you take notes in the text, it talks about your personal faith. It's good that you have faith for me, pray for me, but it's good and even better if I have faith for my own self. Yes, because faith is an important factor in all of our lives. If we're going to make it from here to glory, it's going to take faith. I wish I had some help now. Yeah, matter of fact, you can't even be saved except that you have faith. The Bible said, if thou will confess in thy mouth and believe in thy heart that God had raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Another scripture goes on and says, if we have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, we could speak to the mountains and the mountain would be moved. All of us here today have some mountains in our life. You really don't have to go to Maggie Valley. You really don't have to go to Tennessee to find a mountain. If the truth be told, all of us left some mountains at home, on a job, in the community. Anything that will stumble you can be a mountain. 
Yes, but this morning we want to teach about according to your faith. Yes, we are here. We're not here today because of our good look or because of our, our economic status, but we are here because of the grace of God and according to our faith. Many will get up and testify right now, I, I'm saved according to my faith. I, I, I've been healed. I've been delivered according to my faith. And it's good that we can get other people to pray for us, but how many know sometimes folk forget you? You ask them to pray for us, they forget all about you. Yes, according to your faith, it's not according to my mama's faith or my daddy's faith or my pastor's faith or my children's faith or my wife's faith nor my family faith, but according to your faith. I believe today that faith can move mountains. I believe that faith can bring you out of some stuff. If you only can believe. Yes, we all need to have faith on this journey. The young need to have faith. The middle age, the, the elder people need to have faith. The rich need faith. The old need faith. The poor, the black, the white, the unsaved, the saved. All of us need faith. Yes, I wish that I had some help here today because we cannot make it without faith. Yes, faith is very important in life because faith helps us to get where we got to get at. Have I got a witness on you? All of you have a measure of faith. Yes, yes. Pastor, why you said it? Because I was kind of observant while everything was going on and I saw people coming in and, and everybody come in just sat right down. Nobody looked under the bench, nowhere the bench was going to hold you just because it helped you last Sunday. What makes you think it's going to hold you? But no, you had confidence. Yeah, you had confidence in the seat that you were sitting in. Therefore, we need to have more confidence in God than the material things. Amen? Yes, yeah, we know that faith without work, it is dead. Yes, you're, sometimes we have faith in a master card, but if your master card have not been sealed, and if your master card have not been registered, you can't draw from it. Have I got a witness in here? Yes, one thing that I like about faith is because we can depend on faith. Yes, so it's according to your faith. Have I got a witness in here? Why? Because it's impossible to please God without faith. Why? Because this Bible is a faith book. A lot of things that we read in this Bible, we may not never be able to see it, but we ought to believe it. Why? Because we read and we study about a place called heaven. And, and I believe everybody in here today wants to go to heaven. Yes, you don't have to, you're not going to be able to go and see heaven and come back and believe that you can go to heaven. You're going to have to believe that there is a heaven. And I got a witness in here. Yes, faith helps you to grow while you're under pressure. Faith helps you to climb hills when things look like it's very difficult. Faith call you to keep marching when other folks said, I would not do it. Faith call you to have some endurance when you feel, felt like throwing in the towel. Many of us have felt like giving up, felt like turning around, but just because of the faith that you have. Have I got a witness in here? It doesn't take a whole lot of faith. The Bible said that we have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. And I believe some of us in here have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Have I got a witness in here? Yes, faith will cause us to be saved. We're going to have to believe. Faith will cause us to kill pride. A lot of us have pride in my life. I'm coming to my text. Faith will cause us to kill pride. I'm here today because I believe in God. I'm here today because I believe in Jesus Christ. But I wish I had somebody else that believed in him like I do. Have I got a witness in here? I never seen the Lord, but I still believe that there is a God. Have I got a witness in here? I never seen God with my natural eye. I never seen Jesus with my natural eye. But I just believe that there is a God somewhere. Have I got a witness in here? Yes. And see, faith is something that we hope for and the evidence of things is not seen. When you have faith, you act just like you already have what you're asking for. Have I got a witness in here? So it's a call to your faith. So a lot of things that we do not have, have not processed. It is because our faith is weak. But I wish I had some people in here with great faith. Have I got a witness in here? Yeah. Faith can call you to have the word, hear the word of God. Hearing come through in by the word of God. Faith come through in by what? Hearing the word of God. You're going to have to hear the word of God. And after you hear the word of God, then you can catch faith. Have I got a witness in here? Yes, faith is a supernatural ability to believe God without any doubt. It does not make it no matter how high 
the mountain may be, it doesn't matter how low you are, if you have enough faith and believe that God can bring you out. I believe it's somebody in the audience today that have been in a lonely bar, have been in a low state, have been to a place they could not see their way. And people say you won't want a mountain nothing. They say you won't want to be nothing. Say they won't want to turn out right. But you just kept right on believing it. You just kept right on trusting God that if God going to work it out. Have anybody like that? Yeah. You, you, you are healed because of your faith. Have I got a witness in here? Yes, faith is a supernatural comeback to unbelief. Have I got a witness in here? Yes, when we started having faith and trust in God, it let us know that we're going to live and we're going to depend on God. But let me tell y'all something. There's a big difference between biblical faith and positive thinking. You can have positive thinking and not have biblical faith. But because you have positive thinking and not biblical faith, you don't have a whole lot. But I'd rather have positive thinking and then have biblical faith. Why? Because when I start to think about where the Lord has brought me from and where I'm trying to go to, it don't look like I'm going to be able to make it. But I'm not walking by sight, but I'm walking by. I was going to have somebody that understood what I'm saying. See, see your way, but according to your faith, you can throw your head back and say, I believe. It ought to be somebody in the building that said, I believe. And when it looked like when the world said you can't make it, when the world said it, it can't be done. But when you fall on your knees and say, I believe, it ought to be somebody who said, I believe. Yeah, yeah we, we thanks the Lord for that on today. Have I got a witness in here? I wish I had time to finish what I got here. But that But when I got great faith, I'm totally relying on God. If the doctor turn his head and shake his head, I'm still going to depend on God. And I believe that somebody is here this morning because you totally depend on God. Have I got a witness in here? Because somebody has signed you off. And somebody has wrote you off. But you are here today. See the answer and the victory in your heart when nobody 